shifting our focus back to vectors, we can do a couple of things with them. We've mentioned briefly that they have a direction and they have a length. So let's look into that a little bit more. So let's go back to our friend 2, 2. So we'll write him 2, 2. And how long is he? Well, we tend to write two arrows, 2, 2, to indicate the length of the vector. So arrow, arrow, length. So what is the length of our good friend 2, 2? Well, to find that, we take the square root of x squared plus y squared. And in higher dimensions, it just scales. We add a, an, a z squared, and then we add a w squared, and so on inside the square root. So in our case here, sorry, 2 squared is 4 plus 2 squared is 4. The square root of that is the square root of 8, which is approximately equal to 2.8 to observation, that number is a bit bigger than 2. So the fact that a horizontal vector is longer than its sides is going to, sorry, a diagonal vector is longer than its sides is going to come up again momentarily. 